Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. Marines, we are... Okay, I'm not gonna do that joke every time, and I think I even made that joke <laughs> the last time we random the Marine. We'll play as the Marine. Dude, I'm excited. I don't know when this particular video was going up on YouTube, but... Dude, we know when the Enter the Gungeon update's gonna be out. It's gonna be out April 5th. After, after years and decades and decades in the making, it'll be the final, proper release of Enter the Gungeon. And I could not be happier. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm not happy that the game's not gonna be updated anymore after that, minus like bug fixing. But I'm happy that we're gonna get some more content. After all this time, it feels like it's been forever. If I get a switch, I should oh, if I should try DK Tropical Breeze. I have no idea what that is. Oof. I almost took some damage there to thanks to that Uzi man. But yeah, in case people uh, haven't actually heard anything about the new update, they did spoil um, a new NPC that's going to be added to the game, which is going to give you a new like game modifier you can attach to your runs. Kind of like how you have Blessed Mode and DD20 Mode, thanks to Daisuke, and you have Turbo Mode. It's going to be another modifier that kind of gives you a custom run. And I think that's going to be really cool. And it's, it's going to be a, a fun, interesting modifier, and not just, mm, if you get shot twice, you die instantly thanks to high stress. Not one of those type of modifiers. It's going to be like a completely different game experience. It's going to be a lot of fun, I think. I don't really want to spoil too much in case people don't really want to be spoiled on it, which is fine, but... <laughs> oh, you idiot. But I am excited! Joni Act asks for Dead Cells once a week or so. Well, we'll be playing Dead Cells later tonight, because uh, today is March 28th, and the update did just come out for Dead Cells. A new... Final boss, theoretically, new content, and, and kind of like a completely rebalanced game, but that might have been something that was changed in the past. You know, maybe at some point previously they, they rebalanced it and I haven't played the game since then or something. I don't know. Lament well, configure him is one key. Dude, we can afford one key, even at the expense of the ammo drop. And there's actually a couple of keys that we can buy in the shop. So I think we absolutely take Lament Configurum. We know how this item works. We know when we're gonna get our payouts for the item and we can just like, hopefully get some good gear over the course of a run. This is gonna be like a rare early Lament Configurum run, which I, I kind of enjoy. You know, if I'm gonna get Lament Configurum, I wanna get it early. I wanna get it early so I can get as many payouts out of this Lament Configurum as possible. Because it does matter that, well actually, it, weirdly enough, now that I say that, it actually doesn't matter as much as you would think. Water barrels was, was destroyed. Because Lament Configure is one of those weird items in the game that it, it, it gets, it takes longer to pay out every time you use it. But ac actually, you know what? I've, I wonder. What happens if we drop Lament Configure? Will it reset? Dude. Is that, is that the strategy? Every time you get a payout out of Lament Configurum, you drop it, and then that way, maybe it deals less damage to you overall, maybe it, it, it requires less time to get a payout? I don't know. I'm interested in testing that out now, because how it works is the first time you pick up Lament Configurum, it has an internal counter set to two. You have to use it two times until you get a payout, and then that counter gets incremented by one every time, so then you have to use it three times to get a payout, then you have to use it four times to get a payout. But what happens if you drop it? Will it reset back to two? You see, now I'm thinking and now I'm interested and I'm like, you know, can we just like cheese the crap out of Lament Configurum and get a ton of items very early just by constantly dropping it and then picking it back up again? If so, I am all into that. I really wish these guys would get away from the walls, though. 
This one down here is uh, getting to be a bit of a problem to hit. They love walking into the walls. Why do they love walking into the walls so much? It sucks. Okay. There's only one left. This is when it gets easy. Dude, I hate the Trigger Twins. They love walking into the walls and then you have to kind of dodge around them and use a blank or just hope that they don't shoot you. <laughs> I need an update to Gungeon that uh, just makes the Trigger Twins easier. Nerf Trigger Twins, dodge roll. What are you doing? Oh, they don't know what they're doing with the game. Oh, they're ruining it. No one cares about new bosses and new items and new NPCs. You're ruining the game. Stupid game devs don't know what they're doing. What's the best familiar to copy? I had a run a long time ago. That wasn't a long time ago, it was a while ago. When I theoretically, by the way, we're gonna pop them and configure them. And we're gonna drop it and we're gonna pick it back up again. And I'm gonna see if this resets it to taking only two charges in order to get a, a payout. But I had a run a long time ago and I almost had two Baby Good Mimics and the Pig. So I almost had three one-ups, but I died on the Wallmonger, used the one-up, and then on the next floor I picked up two Baby Good Mimics and I, they didn't do anything for me. It was a DD20 run, so they actually hindered me thanks to the fact that Blobby One Rancher and Unfriendly Fire affected them, but it was a very interesting scenario where I almost had something really amazing happen. You know what? I'm just gonna buy both of these. And we're just gonna do a quick little search looking for that uh, secret room. I figured I might as well buy it because, you know, just it helps out a little bit. We'll be able to see where the secret rooms are. I don't think we found one yet, so. Oh, there we go. Oh! Well, I mean, if you're gonna accidentally dodge roll, that's a good time to do it. <laughs> oh, God damn. Baby Good Mimic, help me. Come here. Block the bullets. Five cents. Five cents is okay. Five cents is okay. Let's break these chests. We'll break these chains. Yeah, that's true. One of the uh, dodge roll devs did tease that the unfinished gun was gonna have like a second form or something, or an update, or you can finish the unfinished gun. Which is gonna be a lot of fun, I think. Heck yeah. Now Abe needs to play Persona 5. I'm not a big fan of JRPGs. I've also seen a lot of Persona 5 or 4 being played. I actually forget which one. So at least, you know, for myself, I don't really feel the need to play it, but... I'm not a big fan of JRPGs. I've only ever played like one in my life. And I think that was Final Fantasy XII. Which seemed like people's opinion was that it wasn't like a, a super amazing one anyways. <laughs> now I, I play RPGs, you know, I played the crap out of The Witcher 3. But the, I guess those are Western RPGs. Not JRPGs. Understandable. You can't copy the owl. That's true. You cannot copy the owl, and you cannot copy... Um... A couple of other familiars, but I forget which ones right now off the top of my head. It's a little weird that you can't copy the owl. Maybe they thought that it would be too powerful with, like, the added blanking effect, but it's not like... It's not like you get a lot of extra value out of them because they blank at the same time, you know? Whenever one owl blanks, any owl you have active will also blank. But, you know, that's what they wanted. They added in that, that code in there that prevents it from working, so, you know, presumably they know what, they know what they're doing. Um, we're gonna use Limit Configure them, so that's one.
Now again, I'm interested in something. I'm interested in knowing if dropping Lament Configurum actually makes it pay out sooner than not dropping it. So that was one use. And we're gonna get one more use definitely before the uh, the boss fight here. And we're gonna see what happens. Because if, if you can get a payout sooner by dropping Lament Configurum, that's a nice little break. That definitely improves the efficiency of this item. Because a lot of times, you know, eventually you get to a point where it takes too long to get payouts out of Lament Configurum, but if you can just drop the item and reset its internal counters, heck yeah. Especially if it also reduces the damage you take, heck yeah. You know, why not? Why would you ever not want to do that? Well, it might be a bug, might be considered an exploit, but it's in the game. Man, thank God for this revolver. I know we got it out of Element Configure and Payout, but like it is actually like saving my life. Heck yeah. Okay, so this is number two use of Lament Configurum. No, it does not work the way I would have wished it to work. It will still take three payouts to, to get a payout out of it. But you know what? I do the testing, so you don't have to! Also, I think Hell Bulletkin should be immune to fire. Just saying. Blue chest in the mirror, blue chest in the... In the minimap, not a rainbow chest this time. <laughs> because if you didn't watch the last run, you really should. That was weird. Uh, we picked up a rainbow chest on the last run because it was in a, a mirror room, which was a lot of fun. When am I going to play Dead Cells? After the Gungeon. We're gonna play Gungeon first, though. As we do every day on these streams. Only on twitch.tv slash Clancy or YouTube as well. <laughs> Only on anywhere where videos are sold near you. Except Blockbuster. Ding, 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 ding. Your programming teacher recently bought a online coding thing and it has taught you more Java than the teacher has in six months. All you need to know about Java is that it's annoying. <laughs> I really hate Java. I hate C-sharp as well, but I guess that's what Gungeon is made in. I'm an old school guy. I like, you know, C++. Although I guess now that I have more experience with C Sharp thanks to working with modding Enter the Gungeon, maybe I'll actually be able to like go back to Java and be like, okay, this actually makes a little bit of sense now. Oh my lord, that's a good item. Moonscraper? I would say Moonscraper. It's not actually Moonscraper, it's uh, Morning Star. But I don't remember anything about Gears of War. I, I, I don't remember any, like, songs. Uh, songs isn't the way of saying it. It's not a freaking musical. I don't remember any uh, musics or themes from that game. But I remember Moon Scraper. Dun, 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 even though that's not actually the correct theme. Gold Finger. Dun, dun, dun. He's the man with the golden touch. He knows too much. BS yeah, Smith busted. Don't actually get any benefit from. Don't even want to pick it up in case I mess up freaking. The man configure him. Uh, but yeah, that is a myth busted. But we, we still know how Lament Configurum works, and we know that if you drop Lament Configurum, you do lose your current charge on it, so to speak. And what I mean by that is, right now, we have a current, um, we've used it zero times towards the next payout. 
So if you do drop them and confirm, configure them, you do lose the number of times you used it to your next payout. We're learning, we're learning a lot about the world that we live in, these items that we have with us. Parallax 108, hello, welcome. Why is the laser on this so, like, off to the side? <laughs> I don't really want to use Lament Configure them, even though I probably should, just to increment it. We'll do it right before we kill the boss. Oh, I just ran into an enemy. Oh, I just ran into an enemy again. Was he jammed? Was this blob that was summoned in, was he jammed? Because he seemed like he was moving awful quick. Oh boy, everybody. We got, we got a wood beam. I got what you beam. Oh yeah, and you can also, in the next update, pet the dog, theoretically. Theoretically, we don't know that for a fact. It's only a theory, not a fact. Only theory, not fact. I also don't feel like we should buy anything. I don't even think that we should open up that mirror chest. Yeah, potentially it's a free chest, but at the same time, like, we don't need it. I kinda wanna have curse available for Lament Configurum. Is LJ coming this run? I certainly hope he doesn't come. Hey yo! <laughs> this wasn't close enough to him, unfortunately. Ice Storm! Hello, welcome. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. I think he hit the bo the corpse of an enemy, which is weird. Doesn't that enemy normally um? like travel through his friends. I guess because it was a corpse, he, he got hit by it and just stopped moving. Very strange. Good for me. Okay. Oh, hey Shadow Man. There's another enemy. Why are we doing this? We have, like, fucking giant death laser of doom. There we go. It's like, let's use uh, whatever gun does the most damage. It's like, that's not the gun you think it is. That's not Alien Engine. Actually, you know, it might actually be Alien Engine. I'm not entirely sure. Well, we have Lament Configurum. It has... Y yes, it has recently paid out with the Morning Star, so we might as well use it. Honest. Oh, I dodged directly. I dodged in like the worst possible direction there. I don't remember when the last payout was. I don't. I didn't want to lose the the old crest, and then I lost the old crest. <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't fucking matter. And then we get our favorite room. Sinner Grace. You know what? Give me anything. I would love it to synergize with Junk, though. Although, really, we need Sir Junkin for that. Nope, it just gave me garbage. That's a, that's pretty unfortunate, but... Eh, what you gonna do? <laughs> Woodbeam, is this a Twitch run? Wait a minute. A weirdly okay use of the wood beam. There you go. There's your rec your re requisite. Uh, every gun has a use in Gungeon. Even the wood beam. Sometimes. Except I lie, not even the wood beam has a use in Gungeon. Hello? It's a big room. I wish the enemies were a little bit faster, honestly. <laughs> it's not a wood beam run, but it is an alien engine run, apparently. 
honestly though, I'll take alien engine over the freaking wood beam. Thank God there were a lot of tables in this room. It's a pretty small room to be doing a Lament configure them on, but it worked out. I mean. <laughs> oh, I made myself cough there. It's like I didn't want to get close to him because of the explosive barrel, but I also wanted to just shoot him. And it's like, well, the alien engine isn't gonna work. I don't know why that was a lot funnier than it actually was. <laughs> oh. oh god. Oh. Oh, okay, I'm good now. Borderlands 3 presentation. I someone said that there was a trailer. I didn't realize it was like a, a, a big thing. It's like this isn't. This isn't uh, E3. Where was their thing? I'm trying to go for 100%. Do I have any advice on the advanced dragon? Um, have like an elder blank. <laughs> Get very, very strong and have enough HP to survive it. <laughs> Great advice, I know. But in reality, that's a that's a difficult fight. <clears throat> I guess just learn the patterns of the dragon is the thing. I don't think I made a video of the dragon, because half the time I still get hit on the dragon, because the dragon is a very tough fight. Um... I guess just Morningstar. Morningstar! Dun dun dun! I don't know. I like that the beam, like the laser sight beam can still break the missiles that spawn. That's really nice. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, come on. I really wanted to, to activate freaking Morningstar and this mimic. Well, I mean, how we... You know, I, don't, I really just don't care. I don't care. We should pick it up, though, so it doesn't appear again, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. Well, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it right. <sighs> 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 There we go. We'll pick it up and never use it. At least now it won't show up again. Won't show up again! Is there any way to get the serpent other than the rat? Yes! If you have anything that creates fire, like the fossilized gun, you can create a pool of fire on the ground, drop the weird egg on top of it, and the weird egg will turn into the serpent, and then you can just give it some items and you'll get the... Uh, the serpent that way. You don't have to fight the rat in order to do the advanced dragon, but it's rare. Bum, bum, bum. And someone in chat just did exclamation mark item weird egg for the Ammonomicon entry for it, which is misleading, because like the wiki, the Ammonomicon, it says you drop the egg and you shoot it to spawn a gun or an item. But really, what you do with the weird egg is you hold it for a long time and if you hold it for a long time, it'll eventually turn into a good gun or an item. Like, the egg in your inventory, you'll see it bounce around, and when it starts doing the big bounces, that means it's S tier. And that's when you want to break it open. That's the thing I never understood, because I was always breaking it open, and I wasn't getting any, 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 I wasn't getting any items from it. I was very sad. That's true, we have the... little familiar buddy that should show us where the secret rooms are. I just gotta find him now. Hello? Hello? 
You know, oh, god damn it. <laughs> that was very rude. He didn't die to the explosion. He just got knocked into me. Let's go find that dude who's going to show us what the secret room is. I mean, maybe I missed him. Maybe he's not even on the floor. I don't know. He's not here. He's not here. He's not going to be here. Uh, he wasn't in the left room. He's not going to be in this room. He's not here. He's not here. Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 is not here. I think I just, I think he's not on the floor, because, well, I mean, honestly, he's probably here and I just missed him the first time around, because usually I don't look for him. I didn't even look at, like, the south side of this room. I guess I looked a little bit, didn't pay that much attention. Hello? Wall familiar man, where are you, wall familiar man? Well, I'm definitely glad I, I did a search. Picked up a couple of guns. And I guess we're done with the floor now. We could get the rat's key, I don't really care. We should buy a key, though. We don't need to buy ammo for anything. Nope, ammo's fine. We could do the rat, it would be pretty easy. And then we could do advanced dragon. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? I'll open it. Yo, question. No, it doesn't work with Morningstar. Because I was going to say, what if you miss with the laser beam? Would you get the ammo back? And then you could just like have triple ammo capacity with the Morningstar. Unfortunately, no. That's unfortunate. I was really hoping I would be able to find some way of just, like, breaking the game. <laughs> Oops. That's not LJ. That is Chili White Mare. Thank you for the follow. I was gonna say, that's not LJ. There's no way he's here this early. You know what? Here's the thing. I A222. I will try to explain the rat fight as I do it. Or uh, not the rat fight, uh, the dragon fight. The thing is, I'm not that good at the dragon fight. I, I know what the attacks are and I know what I need in order to dodge them, but I still miss mess it up half the time anyways. But I'll give it a shot, just for you. You can, by the way, you can tell when the hand is going to be a gun just through the timing. When when um, the gun, the hand finishes his animation, the room instantly ends. But if there's a short delay before it transforms into the hand, you know it's going to pull out a gun. That's why I I I can tell like just right before that that hand uh, transforms. The thing is though, it's not 100% accurate because sometimes some rooms just take a while to finish, you know? You are stuck on a rat. You know, oh, what happened? Okay, I gotta... Okay, well, I found the secret room. <laughs> but I was I was trying to switch over to Alien Engine to shoot the blob, and instead the blob just uh, hit me once. That was very rude of him. Very, very rude of a blob. Hey, uh... Hey, uh, Adrian. What are we using? Oh, right, Grass Chopper. <laughs> I'm using Grass Chopper so I can gun munch it in the future. Grass Chopper sucks. Ah, who needs armor? Armor sucks. Armor's for noobs. I should have stayed on the other side of this. I don't know what's alive, but you gotta go. Should also use the men configure him. 
I may have forgotten in the in the past room. I wonder if they're gonna update the pasts in the next update or not. That'd be fun. Like make the, pa the pasts more difficult if you uh, have already beaten them once or something, or maybe if you fight the Lich, you can also do your past in the same run. We've had some interesting ideas to make the past a little bit more interesting in uh, in the streams. Dum, 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 dum. Should have definitely saved the armor, though. I gotta remember, if we're doing the rat, here's what we need. We need... Either armor and a blank, or two blanks. So we gotta make sure that we're actually saving these blanks. I would like to use them for the boss fight. You know, Cannon Balrog, I think, is the boss that I... Give me a new fucking gun. Stop using... Garbage alien engine when I'm using... <laughs> what is it? Right, Grass Chopper. Don't need it. Don't need it. Am I going to restart the YouTube playlist? Probably. I like doing that when like a, a big update comes out. We'll go back to episode one of the final series of Gungeon. There's YouTubers out there that do that. I've got one in particular in my mind. Goopton. Goopton gives us Bubble Blaster, which is pretty good. Sponge, Potion of Gun Friendship, can't take the active item. Sponge could be pretty good. I'll take the Sponge. Sponge is actually really nice on the rat fight. Because on the first phase, you don't have to worry about the the poison, and on the second phase, you don't have to worry about the fire. So I actually really enjoy having the sponge here. We have plenty of money. You made him move! You know what? Just push him into a pit. Need the armor. Is that a locked door? I don't even know what's behind the locked door. It's, it's... Wow, that didn't kill him. There's just nothing there. You know, actually, um, I was re so I was reading the patch notes, and the patch notes for the next upcoming Gungeon update, well, not like the patch notes, it's just like, here's things that we're adding to the game. They said that they were going to rebalance some A-tier items, and I'm hoping that that means that they're gonna give the Grass Chopper a buff. They're also going to change the way that um, the DPS cap works, which is really nice. Which I hope means that, you know, pumping out bullets still matters on, on fights, on boss fights. It's not just about, you know, stop shooting when you hit the DPS cap because anything after that is just wasted ammo. Oh, it's you! It's you! Let's fight the boss. He's he's not on the mini-map, which sucks, but we'll fight the boss first. We'll come back to him, if I remember. Hopefully I do. We cannot use blanks! Actually, no... I tell you what. I'm gonna dump the armor now, so that I can use one blank on the boss fight. There we go. So now I can use one blank on the boss fight uh, for free. So we have Morning Star, we have Commando, it's actually Mind Flare, which is ridiculously easy. Like ridiculously easy. The only thing you gotta watch out for is uh, this attack there, and making sure that when they hide under the bells, you save your shots. There we go. And then just keep shooting.
Mind Flare with Commando or anything that homes is nice and easy. What's up, Serious Cannon? Which is really nice. I like Serious Cannon. I like the fact that you can get some interesting synergies with it. You know, give me quick and the gun dead. We've seen that before. Um, but first, we're gonna use. Use that. Use Lament Configure him, get the charge on it. The room is completed. We do not have any remaining keys. Can we buy a key? Yes, so we can open up that brown chest. We don't need cold 45. Uh, and I think we should open up the brown chest. Okay, give us a key back. You know what? That's acceptable. Now, what else? Uh, Bubble Blaster. Bubble Blaster is interesting because you can use it to set traps for Lament Configurum spawned enemies. We also, wait, we uh, we do need a water gun as well, don't we? No, Morningstar can get rid of the, the skulls that the dragon fires. We don't need Mega Dowser. Let's get Bubble Blaster, and then we'll go down to the next floor. Go fight the rat. Heck yeah. Boom, 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 boom. You do come, welcome. Winchester, thank you. Hold up. I would have forgotten. <laughs> it's because it doesn't appear on the damn map. Ugh, I was focusing on the freaking Mind Flayer fight. Yeah, step right up, step right up. Ooh. I, I hope that they add in the... Oh my god, it's really laggy when it tr transitions. You know what it is? It's like the it's the camera causing this lag. That's what it is. Like, I'm looking at my, at my computer's memory usage and it's just going up and up as I'm moving back and forth. It's the camera transition that makes it weird. Oh! Interesting. Um, but yeah. Winchester not having map icons, that's something that I could fix, but, you know, at this point, this late in waiting for the next update, I'm just gonna see if they fix it, like, uh, officially, and if they do fix it officially, I don't need to worry about it, but if they don't fix it officially, I will, you know, mod in the correct uh, map icons, because it's, it's annoying that there are no map icons for the random Winchester's games. It's like, I forget, <laughs> I need the icons. Uh, okay, this sucks. Okay, we can probably get the head from here. Well, we can. I missed, but we can. And then this one I think you want to go around, right? Around the world of... No, that's not gonna hit. Would this hit? This would probably hit from a from a harsher angle. Yeah, okay. So I, I missed one shot. That's not too bad. We have an op. Uh, give me a scope, please, game, and we'll consider it fair. Yeah, and Hayes, you are correct. There's there's a weird thing about this room. It's actually not that long, but if you're riding the mine carp, it loops. You kind of saw it right there. The, the you can see Baby Good Mimic. He's kind of he's looping around. That's because the minecart when it hits two lanterns, it just kind of loops multiple times. It's a very strange room. It has a teleporter on it. Very weird. We should have taken Cold Forty Five. I'm an absolute idiot. <laughs> like I was thinking, ah, we don't need Cold Forty Five. We're not going to be freezing any of the bosses. It's still good to have. It's still very good to have. I'm gonna close my browser though. And Visual Studio. Reduce that memory usage. Yeah, that freed up like six gigabytes right there. Firefox, man. I, I like it as a browser, but I hate it for its memory management. Okay, scope. Scope. Scope, 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 scope. Oh 
God, you have a lot of HP. I would love to be able to, you know what? There we go. I would love to be able to actually do the 360 yes scope one-shotting enemy synergy at one point <laughs> during our uh, Enter the Gungeon career before the update drops, but if we can't, we can't. Okay, are any of you guys gonna die? You guys have a lot of HP for this room. See, this is what I'm, what I'm talking about with the commando. So that was right, right. So down, left, up, left, down. Gotta pay attention. Then left, up, left. Okay, yeah, this room does not feature 16 million jammed enemies, only this one guy that makes things jammed. Up, left. Should have not moved. Remember, the trick against these guys is just don't move. If you don't move, they can't hit you. It's kind of like a T-Rex. I don't know why they didn't just make it a T-Rex enemy instead of a spider. Okay. That was a rainbow rat. <laughs> you see that? Adorable little rainbow rat. All right. We're gonna get him. Yeah. Metal Gear time, yeah. I'm gonna start with Commando though because Oh, I tried to dodge. I was standing in the wrong spot though as well, and I got hit again. This is, this is not the best uh, rat fight. Now get back to the center. All right, got hit three times, whatever. Again, I've said this, goodbye. I've said this once, I'll say it again. I think that the first phase is the most difficult. The second phase is a lot easier. Okay, hold on. Gotta kill your friends. That was a, that was a horrible direction to dodge in. I don't know why I thought I should dodge towards him. Obviously, that's not the direction to dodge in. <laughs> Whatever, we take a little bit of damage here, it doesn't matter. Sh I should use the other blank though, because we get a blank back. Right, hug, hug the wall on that one. Oh, the bullet just ran into me, you son of a gun bullet. Dodge against the wall, then go to the center. Dodge around this, we've done this before. Something died. You hear that? I did break the sound. Uh, Metal Gear isn't making any noise. All right, that's 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 horrible. That, I, that was a horrible performance on the rat. Let's make up for it in Punch Out. Table Tech Rage. Give me the taunt. You're doing such a good job. You have time to taunt. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about punching. Just taunt. Come on, come on. You should taunt again, you know. Really, you gotta put up a good show for the camera, Rat. You, know, you gotta think about your audience here. Ugh. Table tech stun, and table tech range, and shotgun full of love. Gotcha. I like just giving him a... Uh, one little tap when he makes a mistake. Guanstone, Super Space Turtle. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm countering even those stupid moves, rat. Heck yeah, you can't hit what you can't see. You gonna heal? Nope. Probably should have healed. So that is shock rounds, I think, right? I think that's shock rounds. Is that shock rounds? That's shock rounds, okay. Which should be really good. Oh, hey, double super space turtle. Should be really good with the Vulcan cannon. Oh no, not the elephant in the room. Oh crap. <laughs> it's one of the worst synergies in the entire game. Oh no, that's not what I wanted at all. That's not what we wanted. Hold up, rat man. Oh my god, I gotta figure out how to actually like get him out of the wall too. There we go. T Turtle, get out of the way. Turtles, get out of the way. Thank you. Pick up the other Guan stones. Probably just drop those in the pit. Send them back to the pit. Okay, ammo. More ammo. Game's a little bit buggy with it, but we'll make it work. The perfect punch out. One punch out! Oh no! No, it, we just gotta pay out with it, it's okay. And in, in fact, we're gonna get the rat sack so we can hold them and configure them in something else at the same time. Okay, good, 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 good. This is acceptable. Because I think what we're gonna do is probably just pop them and configure them and then run through the elevator. No reason to fight him. Yeah, when Punch Out was like first, I didn't get the rat <laughs> or the serpent. I didn't give him any items. One, two, three, four, give serpent. There we go. I'm only doing that because I told I I two 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 <laughs> that I would do it. Just take the elevator back up. If only I could. Well, that was dumb. We have double super space turtle though. That's pretty freaking dope. <laughs> and he's cheating. I'm only cheating because I did something dumb. Which I guess you know that's a uh, a wide variety of of reasons why I would I would cheat. You know, that doesn't really narrow it down that much. Oh, Abe did something dumb again. Time to cheat. I will say, I do, and I bring this up every time I get Super Space Turtle, I wish he wasn't bad in turbo mode. Because he is actually worse in turbo mode. He has a debuff. He fires a lot slower. I don't understand, oh. I don't understand why. But it's something I, I wish was not the case. I also kind of wish I could turn off that dual wield, but it is what it is. That's true, I did feed the rat to the serpent. We will always have that. Um, actually, you know, oh, yo, this is awesome. Yes, enter my electric ring of death bubbles. Is this is what I was thinking with uh, Lament Configuring, by the way. We're just gonna make a lot of bubbles. Tiny bubbles. We'll spawn the enemies. They're all gonna walk into the bubbles, because they're idiots. You're a mimic. Tiny bubbles. We can carry this, I think. Yeah, we can we can't hold any more items. But we can hold on to the ration. 
God knows we're gonna need it. The bubble blaster buffs. Thank you, based Abe mod. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I always found it really weird. You could only hold 10 bubbles at a time in the air. But the, the gun fires so so quickly, you know, when you have a uh, scatter shot, you can only like pull the trigger three times and then it stops moving. It's like, what, really? Bubble Blaster, I think needed a little bit of a buff, honestly. Uh, we're gonna take Curse Bullets. It's gonna take it right now. Now, we very well could spawn LJ at any moment. I don't know what our curse is. Yeah, I said it, instead of holding 10 bullets in the air, it holds 100 bullets in the air. That's what my mod changes it to. Because at 100, you're not gonna really notice bubbles disappearing, you know? It's not unlimited because I, I do understand the need for a limit. That's a rainbow. I do understand the need for a limit, but the limit being 10 is just far too low. That makes no sense to me whatsoever. I'm not gonna worry about you. Where is, where is the big dog? Big dog! I think I got him. Isn't Big Dog the name of the DJ in Fallout? No, it's not Big Dog, what is it? It's Three Dog. Why is he Three Dog? Do, do they ever like go into that, the reasoning behind that in Fallout anywhere? I never actually finished Fallout 3. Or Fallout New Vegas for that matter. <laughs> Maybe I should have. You gonna die one day? I mean, I know we're all gonna die one day. Okay, it helps if I actually hit a shot. He has the IQ of three dogs combined. <laughs> uh, rude. Yeah, make sure we use our uh, Table Tech Rage buff to kill basic bulletkins with an A-tier gun that only has 30 ammo. Helps if I could actually, like, hit with it. Gotcha. Tiny bubbles! Oh, boo! In the wine! We will be using... Bubble gun. Don't worry about it. We'll come back to it. Heroin wave beam! Okay, you know what? That's a little interesting. It's actually, it, you know, it actually doesn't seem that bad. It's a lot better than I was gonna, th I was thinking it was going to be. Maybe we'll use Wave Beam. I couldn't even see him. <laughs> I was like, where did he go? <laughs> no, it, no, there we go. No, I hate that it actually just like keeps changing. Yeah, it doesn't seem that bad. I wish he had piercing. I'm just using the ammo in it because I'm not gonna use this like after this floor. <laughs> I'm not gonna use heroin. Okay, okay. It's uh, it's wallmonger. You know what, Morningstar works pretty well against the wall, so does Commando. I might just go Commando, honestly. Try our best to make good dodges. I have a blank remaining. I walked into a bullet. <laughs> you wanna know why I walked into that bullet? It's 
because this guy holds the gun so weirdly. I can't, I couldn't tell where I was standing. <laughs> Legitimately, that's the reason why. Eh, take him to the commando. I hate that. Goodbye. I got hit. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the elevator. It should have protected me. Yeah, this guy holds his guns very strangely. So, like, I, I was anticipating, you know, the Vulcan cannon to kind of be lined up how it is right now. You kind of see how I'm in the middle of the Vulcan cannon, but that, that's not how it worked. What was happening was, in the fight, it was actually this. The guns were spread out, and so I was looking at the, like, the icon of, of the gun, I was looking at where the bullets were coming from, and it was actually a little bit hard to tell where I was standing, because if you're dual wielding the guns like this, like, look at how wide they are, but if you dual wield them like this, they're just on top of each other. <laughs> it, 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 surprisingly, it does make a little bit of a difference. It makes it a little hard to follow sometimes. Is that a Kohler? I didn't even know they could spawn here. There. That'll help those super space turtles. <gasps> the rainbow enemies, they don't get stunned for as long. Holy crap. I only just noticed that. That's important to figure out. Also, yo, Wave Beam actually does really good damage. Like a lot more damage than I was gonna gonna even hope for. Look at that. Look at that. No, no, no. I wanna. No, there we go. That's pretty nice. Yeah, Wave Beam does a lot of damage. I like it. It's gonna take the ammo for this. We'll keep using this for a while. Um, yeah. I like. I was expecting it to do like as much damage as the the piddly shots out of the normal heroin, but that's not what's happening here. We're actually getting like very powerful shots out of the the tap fire version of the of the Wave Beam. That's really nice. So, there's LJ. Hi, LJ. How you doing? I guess we're gonna fight LJ with the rat? Sorry, with Advanced Dragon? <laughs> I guess this is what we've committed ourselves to. Oh, fantastic. Maybe I shouldn't have spawned in a Advanced Dragon. You think? Uh, oh god. Where's my Wave Beam? Well, I mean, that's of course if we even live to the advanced dragon fight at this point. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, we may have just screwed ourselves on this run. Could you please go away? Mistakes were made. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta kill. Gotta kill faster. I can still become, uh, become lit on fire? I can still light on fire by walking into those. Just run. Just let the music overtake you. I really want it. Okay, I was gonna say, want, want more ammo in this gun. Like, I want something that homes in. Is that our 
friend? No. Da 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 can't look right now, I'll look later when I'm not on the verge of death because we have made a mistake and some in LJ on a run where we're gonna fight the advanced dragon, I'm scared. Oh god, oh god. We'll say, having extra HP is nice. Could use Another item out of Lament Configure. I mean, I mean, if we're gonna be stuck with it, we might as well try to get more. Uh, that is double fucking vision and RC rocket. That is amazing. And this is the shop. Okay, well, uh, you know what? Come over here. We need to do this very carefully. Don't need to dodge roll. We have a we have a chance of being able to survive here. Uh, I mean, Morningstar, Vulcan Cannon, Commando against the Advanced Dragon should do a number on him. I think Bouncy Bullets is very useful. Um, we do want to get Double Vision. We're gonna we're gonna keep the ration for healing. We're gonna drop the partially eaten cheese because I I don't like it. I don't like the fact that it's a um. Like OP item. And we're gonna buy RC Rocket as well, but let's get double vi- well, I mean, uh, we can afford them both. Portable table device, honestly, is interesting as well. We could summon tables that would provide us with invincibility and table tech rage. But, I mean, we have double vision. We don't need table tech rage, I don't think. We're gonna be at the damage cap. And again, this is something that, you know, if they change it how it works in uh, the final update, it would make sense maybe to get portable table device, because table tech rage would still give me a damage bonus on the boss fights. That's what I'm hoping for out of the update, out of the changes that they're going to make. You know, make it so that damage still matters on boss fights. Because right now it kind of doesn't. Once you hit a certain threshold of damage, it's like, well, I don't need to do any more. Okay, uh, well this is scary. Anyway, someone asked what are rainbow enemies. Rainbow enemies are something that my mod introduces. And they're just different statted versions of regular enemies. So they have um, faster bullet speeds but less health. And they are tough. I'm out of ammo. I'd like to save RC Rocket for the uh, final boss. Maybe we'll use like Magnum. Wow. Should also probably use the um, double vision, but I guess the thing that I'm I'm forgetting is that we do have curse bullets, so we are at double damage right now. So even a gun like Revolver is going to just absolutely destroy most enemies, even the jammed ones. I mean, Revolver is pretty good anyways, but more damage is always a good thing. I will take... Oh man, that's really good! Future Gangsta! Hell yeah! Um... Yeah, we could pick up tables if we use the ration during the boss fight. What we should do, though, is use Lament Configurum right now. Get another payout. Or get it charged, at least. Okay. Um, let's go back up here. I guess it, it, also, it does depend on whether or not the shop man is going to still be there. Maybe LJ going across the map is going to make him run away or something, but... We'll see. But in this fight, we're going to be focusing entirely on... Well, not entirely, but we're, we're going to be focusing mainly on... Double Vision. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Yeah. I 
killing these enemies in two hits, that's pretty good. And here's the boss fight, so we're gonna... T yeah, there's no lag because the camera's moving back. So it's not a factor of that lag that I get there, it's not a factor of the boss fight, it's a factor of the camera pulling back. That's very interesting. That's very weird. Right, bound 80s. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. <laughs> It was a couple of minutes since uh, since that message appeared, but I, look, I was in the middle of some shit. Kind of forgot about it. You would like a rainbow bulletkin as your badge? That's a good idea. Um, before we fight the boss, I think we should buy the heart. Thought about it. Yes, we have the ration, but we also need the HP. So we're gonna pull LJ. We're gonna fight the the uh, the dragon. We're gonna use Commando on the and RC Rocket on the second phase. I think we're gonna open up with Morningstar. Oh, Apache Thunder mentioned the the camera was the thing causing the uh, the issue last week. Well, I I must have just not been paying attention, which is honestly not surprising. I don't want to use any blanks right now. It is a it is a jam dragon, but as long as I don't get hit by the uh, the dragon bullets, I'm okay with it. This is a horrible sound. <laughs> it's very difficult to hear. I'm gonna use a blank there. I got scared. Okay. Dragon phase one. <laughs> My ears! Now what? Let's go uh, Commando Vulcan. Now, there's a chance that the next dragon... I'm out of blanks, oh my god. There's a chance that the next dragon is not gonna be jammed, which would be ideal. Oh, uh, there's the red laser. That always happens. Yeah, I don't think it's... Yeah, he's not jammed. That's really good. That's like ideal. I did run into that bullet though. You know, I mean, if we take damage, we take damage. This is about survival, not about, you know, no hitting and getting, getting that freaking flawless. Though I think we are gonna survive. Because his second form is uh, not jammed, it's a little bit easier. Now, this attack sucks. We get, did get hit twice by it, which is unfortunate. Got hit by that. Got hit by that. You know what? Use the ration. Use double vision. Reload. Not to reload that often with Vulcan Cannon. Uh, out of ammo, okay. RC rocket time. Actually, you know what? Big Iron's good enough. Big Iron has a lot of range to it thanks to the fact that we have the uh, the synergy. Sweet! <laughs> Dragon, KO'd! <laughs> Toucan Nate, hello, welcome. How's it going? How much was portable tables? I don't know. Let's go check, though. Forty-five. I think it's definitely worth buying. What's this item over here? Oh, the cheese wheel. I don't care about the cheese wheel. Get me out of here. Okay, we have five and a half HP. 
we have... <laughs> oh, God. We have Lament Configure him, which we should, you know, activate, and then... We can't run away! Uh-oh. I made a mistake. I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck. This was a this was a horrible mistake. Never ever ever <laughs> use lament configure him right there. That sucked. Okay. Drop some cursed items. Oh hell no. If we die, we die. If we die, we die. We die. We're probably gonna die. We can delay LJ spawning a little bit. We do have double damage. We can just kind of use Hexagon for a little while here. Uh, we cannot flip the table though. If we flip the table, that will cause LJ to spawn in, because Table Tech Rage will cause our stats to recalculate. So we need to not flip over tables. If we flip over a table, we do it with the knowledge that that will summon LJ. Now there is also um, that guy, which honestly, I'm probably going to use the the evil gun muncher, because here's my idea. If we get rid of some of the guns that are jammed, we'll have less chance of getting a jammed lich. We'll still have to fight with LJ, but if we have a smaller chance of getting a jammed lich, we won't take as much damage on the fight, which I think is more important. You stole it? Very rude of him. We'll take the ammo. That does cause a recalculation of stats. Okay, now I know. I probably knew that previously, I just forgot. Well, now it's gonna be sketchy. What is that? You know what, the ammo we can actually leave. Might also just use um, double vision at this point, it doesn't matter. Okay, ammo, we might as well just leave it. I mean, we're, we're going through the rooms very quick at this point. Oh, crap. Should have had the tables like ready to go. I was thinking about it walking into this room. Oh my fucking god. I was thinking about it walking into this room, but then for some reason I decided, eh, it's not important. We have a lot of active items. I don't like switching between them. Instead, we're just gonna, you know, get hit for two full hearts of damage. Because I'm lazy. You know what? We gotta pull out all the stops here. Fucking god damn it. Uh, we gotta stop getting hit by like every enemy that we come across at this point. Cause this is uh, seriously hampering our ability to live. You know what, save the ammo, it doesn't matter. This is gonna loop, I bet, so we're gonna go this way. Although we actually, I mean, we did a good job killing a uh, jammed version of Doggo. Cool. Oh. Hey, man. Oh, oh, oh. I hate when the enemies die and they, like, get knocked into a wall, which prevents you from dodging in that direction. Okay, where's the uh, where's the HP drops, please? We could really go for some HP drops, please. Ah. 
You know what I should do is just abuse the heck out of the tables. There's a reason why they are so powerful. They are the most powerful tables. Also, the sound is getting really buggy. It's actually getting a little difficult to tell like what's happening because the sound isn't coming out of like the right headphone speaker. <laughs> it's very unusual. We got a key. Oh, fantastic. Just pop the tables and run <laughs> at this point. I'm also not using Lament Configurum. Honestly, it's because we might need like every HP that we have right now. Uh, I think it's about time we go back for one of those ammo drops. I should just get good. I'm getting better, I'm getting better. We're taking less damage. We'll grab this ammo drop. Uh, I will also grab it for the... Vulcan Cannon. And then we will leave. Because this actually should be the boss fight, right? Oh god, it's the boss fight. <laughs> oh crap. Well. Time to learn what this run is made of. Lament can heal me because of a synergy. It's wrong synergy. I think. No, you're right, it can. Um, I'd still rather not. Right, we're also gonna do this. So we're gonna get rid of... Grass Chopper. I'm gonna pull LJ, and then we'll do it. We're gonna get rid of a lot of our guns. And you know what? Why not? Here. There we go. I don't know, I don't know how long it's gonna take us to get a payout is the problem. But we'll, we'll do that once. And we're just gonna gun munch basically everything that we're not gonna use on that boss fight. We're gonna gun munch the heroin. We're gonna gun munch unicorn horn. We're gonna gun munch alien engine. We're gonna gun munch the wood beam. We're gonna gun munch elephant gun. We're gonna gun munch the frickin' banana gun. Now, this uh, this also does reduce our damage output. That's important to keep in mind, but our damage output's gonna be fine enough. We have, you know, table tech rage. We have double vision. In fact, we should probably just focus on one or the other. So we're gonna focus on portable table device. Actually, let's also simplify. You know, if, if we're gonna focus on one or the other, Let's really focus on one or the other. Only have one in our inventory. Uh, we're gonna get rid of Blunderbuss. We're gonna get rid of the... Blooper. We're gonna get rid of... Serious Cannon's too slow to fire. Bubble Blaster you don't need. Oh my god! Um... <sighs> I wish I could get rid of Blasphemy. I can drop it. For simplicity's sake. Um, yeah, because we're never going to use it. We're probably not going to use Thompson. We have RC Rocket, Big Iron, and Vulcan Cannon. We're probably not going to use the Op. Okay, we got a payout. Give me Black Hole Gun. Give me Yari Launcher, uh, which is fantastic. Oh, fuck. Oh. I'm, I'm at 1 HP. A jam chicken ran into me! 
Fuck this game. <laughs> oh my fucking... I was, just, I was just like, what's in this room? Oh, it's, uh, it's an ammo drop. Bam! Jam chicken. Fucking piece of shit. <sighs> I hate this game. Well, now we have to do it basically, basically without taking damage. And now Yari Launcher serves a double purpose, which is allowing us to kill a jammed boss. Oh, fuck. I got hit in I got hit from fucking behind. I'm so pissed at myself. So we are we are going to die. We're going to lose. And it's entirely my fault taking lament configure. What did I say? Everyone's like, "Oh, Wave never loses." I lose when I kill myself. Which is what happens here today. I lose when I'm an idiot and I allow myself to take Lament Configure and get infinite levels of curse. Now, we basically have to use Yari Launcher. Do we use it on the second phase or the third phase? I don't know. Because that jammed fucking chicken. Because of that jammed fucking chicken. Oh my god, I thought I died. Please, please, please. We've done it. <laughs> Table Tech Rage, Yari fucking launcher. Oh my god, get me out of this run. Holy shit. Oh my god. Well. <laughs> uh, I'm very glad. I'm very glad that on the first floor of the damn game, I bought Brick of Cash. Because without that, we could have very possibly died. Because... It allowed us to get Yari Launcher, which combined with Table Tech Rage allowed us to kill two phases of the Lich in like 30 seconds. Holy crap. <laughs> also, F the jammed chickens. Just like, remove them from the game, make a mod that just gets rid of them. Someone do something about them, please. Those freaking chickens. <laughs> I hate them! I hate them. I hate them with a passion. Every goddamn time. Smiling Bandit 2, thank you for the bits. Oh, crushing it. That jam chicken almost crushed my soul. Oh my god. The jam chickens add to the game. <laughs> F. Oh. Anyways, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching <laughs> this crazy run. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch if you want to go live. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs. And I hope to see you here again for the next... Run, I had to remember what game this was, of Enter the Gungeon.